Good morning. I am going to show you the updated studio and a little recap of some things I learned this week, driving around, being here. It's been a pretty good week, week two, um, just continually learning. So in last week's video, uh, which was week one, I showed you how the studio was coming together um, and I've learned some more things about lighting this week. One soft box was a bit too uh, isolated. It wasn't evenly spreading through the room. So I was researching and people were saying, you gotta have two soft boxes in order to get some even lighting. So, all right, so I've got a desk where I can do my editing and all that stuff now. Um, and here are the two soft boxes. That's the situation right now. Um, and so that shines onto me while I'm sitting here as the subject. And I found that the lighting is so much better. Um, so this is what we've got now for the studio. Woohoo! Yeah, so that's the updated studio. Um, oh, I do have the blinds open. But technically with two soft boxes, you can have a completely blacked out room and it's still good lighting. And I just found that in my first video in the starting over series, I was so dark, like I was so tan. And I realized that one soft box was um, making me like five shades darker, which isn't the worst thing, but it just isn't consistent. So two soft boxes, loving it. And yeah, let's get on with the week. Here's the thing is, when you're starting anything new and there's mistakes and growing pains and all these lessons you gotta learn, it requires so much patience. And then when you're actually in the moment and you just wanna get things done and you wanna be an expert fast, those are the moments that I have to remind myself, you're new to this girl, calm yourself just enjoy the journey you know all that cheesy shit that people that we all say right like I've absolutely told people this enjoy the journey so it's like me taking my own advice is that this is all new like I'm going to Guitar Center for the tenth time probably unnecessarily but because I it's just still haven't quite got the right gear that I want it's all part of the process because sure enough one day you do know what you're doing and then you look back and you're like why did I stress you know this is it's all just a kind of a learning experience so while I'm trying to figure out the the mics and the you know and the gear and all that stuff which it's it's this is just me my personality is that I want to start right but I know that trying to start right oftentimes gets in the way of just producing and delivering, right? Um, and it's this perfectionist in me that I know I gotta work on. Yeah, so just running around town, getting all the things that I need and, and I'm like, why am I stressing myself? Just, just enjoy. These are good problems to have right one other thing is remember to be nice to the people who are supporting your dream and your process i think um i can lose sight of like when i'm just in the zone or i, I just want things to get done the way that i want them to and i'm like nobody get in my way everybody out of my way and it's easy to take the people that love you and that you love for granted and I, I don't want to do that, so it's always important to remind yourself, be humble, enjoy the journey, this is all fun, it's not that serious, right? And just because it's a business doesn't mean that it has to be any less fun, you know, it's just about sticking to commitments, it's about doing your best. And that's all you can really do is, okay, I told myself I would film this many videos this week, so I told myself I'd film three long form this week. 
do that. And good is better than perfect because perfect, you never get anything done. And that's, that's something that I struggle with is perfection. I want all the right stuff. I want it to look right. I want it to be perfect until, and then you know what? The irony, the irony of trying to achieve perfection is that it oftentimes just does the opposite of what you want it to do anyway. <laughs> it really does. And you know, this week as I've been working on the long form content and short form like reels and all that stuff, I, I realized that when I'm editing, it takes me so long and it's because I want it to look a certain way and I want it to be perfect. And then I realized, you know, the irony is that the people who actually get probably the most subscribers on YouTube, they do very little editing and they're completely just themselves. So many of us walk around and we're trying to achieve this perfect image, but really what people connect to, what the audience wants, is somebody that they can just relate to. And that is not a perfect person. If you, if you notice when you look at reels or when you look at YouTube videos, the people who are just kind of raw and are themselves, and you can tell that they are not edited, not scripted, they're getting so many subscribers. They're getting so many, um, just they're pulling people in. And that actually takes less time and effort than trying to put on this, you know, like perfect image. Being yourself is exactly what people want. The people who are meant to be for you, the people who are meant to be your people, you being yourself, that's exactly just, that's exactly what they want. And ironically, we all try to polish ourselves. A lot of us, people like me, trying to polish ourselves to put out this perfect image when actually that's not what the people who are your people, the people who will eventually connect with you, that's not what they connect with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pretty fascinating because we're putting all this time and effort into trying to curate this perfect image when really what people want is not a curated image and what people connect to and what they follow is actually the raw, real stuff and that is just simply you being you. And that takes so much less effort just to be you. And that's something that I've struggled with, absolutely. And I mean, I mentioned it in, in my first, I mentioned it in my last video about wanting people to think my life was perfect, but on a lot of levels, in a lot of ways, I still, I still um, struggle with that. I definitely still struggle with that. But you know, James, my fiance, he made a great point the other day. And he was like, everybody's interesting in their own way. Everybody's got something interesting about them. They can be the most messy or the most boring person. I think boring bastard is what he would say in his English accent, but, um, but they've still got something interesting about them if they're just themselves. The things that people will watch for hours and hours on end, it's limitless. I was watching a Think Media video the other day and they said that there are, I don't remember how many exactly, but billions, billions of subscribers, billions of people who are watching YouTube and it's not slowing down. And so when I think about, oh my gosh, who's going to resonate with me or who, who is going to want to watch me or hear what I have to say, it's helpful to know that there really is an audience for everything. And it's just about finding yours, you know? So I would rather be on this, I'd rather learn to just start being myself. I'd rather learn to relax and just kind of let it go and be myself and see what sticks and who actually floats my way than to maintain an image of anything and burn out quickly. I just feel like now more than ever, I feel like perfection leads to burnout, right? And it's so exhausting. So 
that's what I'm learning this week. It's just, you gotta let go a little bit. Be nice to the people around you who are supporting you. <laughs> Cause sometimes it's, it's so easy to say, you wanna, it's so tempting to say, you don't understand, you don't understand the journey. You don't understand my process. It's like us mad, crazy artists, you know, cause I'm also a musician and I like to create and I feel like I have this eccentric kind of crazy side to me that I haven't unleashed really. But that, that also manifests into, you don't get my process, <laughs> like get out of my way. And I have noticed myself doing that with those I love this week. And I don't want to do that because at the end of the day, I am so appreciative and grateful for what they are, you know, for, for their support. And that's all they deserve is, is love and appreciation from me. And you know, James and I were talking about this. One day, for those of us who commit to the process, who work hard and stay on the path, you'll get what you want someday. I'll get what I want someday. And, and oftentimes I hear from successful people that when they arrive, it never feels like what they thought it would feel. And I think when we're all trying to achieve a goal, it's, it's easy to think that when you get there, you'll feel everything that you ever wanted to feel because you will have arrived. But James and I were talking about this. When I get there someday, if I look, if, if I get there and it doesn't feel how I wanted it to, I know that it will be because I did not enjoy the process. I didn't enjoy the journey. Maybe I stepped on some feelings to get there, like not appreciating the people around me who are supporting me. I rushed it. I forced things. I got frustrated. I was stressed out. I was wondering what if and what will happen and all this stuff. And when you fill your energy and you fill your the, the air with that kind of vibe and that kind of energy, then of course it's not going to feel it how you wanted it to when you get everything that you want because you didn't enjoy the journey. And I, I don't want, I don't want to do that. And I have to remind myself, and this is actually good to hold me accountable, right? So yeah, I'm just really wanting so badly and trying to just stay grateful and enjoy the process because everything in life, every single moment is unique. It's like, I won't get this time again. It won't be like this all the time, right? Where I'm learning all the gear and I'm learning how to edit and I'm trying to figure out a schedule and I feel a little bit burnt out and overwhelmed. Like, yes, I mean, is it fun? No, not all the time, but these are great problems to have. And if I don't just soak up this moment for what it is, I know I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna regret it because I've been there before where I've gotten things that I thought that I wanted. And when I got them, because of the space that I was in before, it didn't feel like it should. So I don't want to make that mistake now, okay? So we're gonna go to Guitar Center. We're gonna be grateful. We're gonna appreciate this moment and get over ourselves because there are worse things than to be driving somewhere to get or exchange some gear. I mean, there are worse, worse things in the world. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna film my second episode of the Starting Over series. I'm wearing what I'm wearing and I'm probably gonna just <laughs> film like this. Um, Cause I'm running behind today and I'm not gonna have time to get ready and change and all that. So you know what? That's part of this lesson of mine, right? Imperfection is okay. Adapt, just be adaptable. Have a good attitude. Be nice to people. Enjoy the journey. Okay, so I just I just recorded my second episode of the Starting Over series. After I record, I do feel a little bit emotionally exhausted. I know that's normal and I'm probably dehydrated. <laughs> I was talking for like an hour and what I do is I talk for like an hour 
sometimes more, an hour and a half, two sometimes, depending on how prepared I am. And I edit it down to 20 minutes or less. I really try to get it to 20 minutes or less. And I don't know if that strategy is working so well because it takes up so much time. I know a lot of first time YouTubers and people who are starting out feel this way is that you can feel that burnout very quickly. I'm trying to learn and adjust as I go. It's already Wednesday. My goal this week was to record three long form videos. I'm behind now because I spent all day Monday unexpectedly editing. I thought editing would take me like two, three hours max and then I could record. It ended up taking me like 10 hours. And if you watch my videos, you might be like, why, where are all those hours? This is not even that fancy of editing. <laughs> and I know it's not, but um, I think part of it is because I'm still learning how to edit. I'm, I'm a newbie to Final Cut Pro. So I'm like editing every little tidbit, every little, nook and cranny of these videos and it's costing me hours and I'm learning very quickly that that's not sustainable. I need to let go a little bit and I'm learning, I'm learning how to do that. So I'm trying to figure out a rhythm and a schedule and what works for me. You know, I'm, I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. My gut is telling me to slow down. So anywho, um, learning a lot. Oh, one thing I'm also trying to do is not obsess over metrics. Cause I don't really have any right now, right? I, I'm, I, it's a baby, baby, baby channel. But I also found myself obsessing over, oh, did I get a new subscriber today? And I just, I would just celebrate every new subscriber, but I realized that was getting really unhealthy because some days I'll get none or I'll get very little views. That can really be discouraging. It can really bog you down if you let it. And I'm trying to tell myself to not obsess over the numbers, but it's more about the quality, my why. Why am I doing this in the first place? Okay, my whole thing, to make people feel less alone, to connect with people who might feel the way I do or have felt the way I do or look like me, that girl who felt like she needed a big sister, I don't know, but ultimately just to help people feel more empowered through my shorts, right, where I'm like giving little pops of um, encouragement and pep talks, um, or through my long form, which is talking about real struggles and talking about life lessons. And so it's not solely for the numbers, although the numbers would help, come on. But it's it's not about that. It's to build longevity and it's about the long game, right? The long game of why I'm doing this to make a small, medium or big impact. We'll see. But it is to make a positive impact on somebody out there who needs to hear some of these words. And I'm very, very early on, but um that's what I think the focus needs to be. Not who subscribed today, how many, how many views, because it's the algorithm is just so random. The algorithm is sometimes really on your side or not at all. It's kind of a mystery, right? And I guess embracing that mystery and just realizing that, hey, it's kind of a crapshoot. Like whatever, whatever happens, it's gonna happen, but it's about the commitment and the dedication and remembering the intention behind putting out this content. That should be the driving force. That is the driver, not what are the numbers today and how have they increased. Cause you can be really, really disappointed. It can be really disheartening, right? So, um, but it's human nature. So that's what I'm trying to work on this week. That is my challenge for this week is not obsessing over the numbers because I hear from so many successful YouTubers that they tried, they were consistent for years, and then boom, all of a sudden, one video made them catapult, or the algorithm was in their favor, and then their growth just exponentially happened. And um, 
so I think it is there's no rhyme or reason sometimes I think YouTube just rewards consistency obviously it rewards really really good content and I'm just I'm still a learner right um but yeah there's so much that goes into it that I think that focusing on the output of the numbers and if everything were solely based on that I think that we would all be very very sad and you know a lot of these shorts that I'm putting out it's it's to help myself it's to help me get through this journey you know so when I'm talking about don't let the unqualified disqualify you you know haters who don't know what they're talking about and trying to discourage you from doing what you want to do and creating or you know doing something outside the box that was for me or when I talk about sometimes when we're when we have a goal and we're trying hard to reach a destination success whatever goal it is we often discount what is happening in the background like even if I don't see the numbers happening right now even if I don't see something tangible that is telling me that I'm doing a good job or that I'm making progress doesn't mean that it's not happening that the wheels aren't spinning in the background so I, I created a short about that, but it was it was really for me. It was to to encourage me to keep going even when I can't fully see the results yet. That the universe rewards work and commitment and dedication and consistency. And that even if you don't see that reward today, doesn't mean that it won't happen in three months or in a year or in three weeks, right? So we can't discount what we cannot see. I think that is so important. Oh, this is one thing I've learned this week. I think why I have a lot of energy for this right now, even though it can be a little bit draining and there's a lot of pressure that I put on myself, it's scary starting a new thing. Um, just all the new, all the things that come with starting something new and starting over, right? I think the reason why I'm able to physically and emotionally handle it a bit better is because I'm also on a strict health and wellness routine every single day. It, and it's nothing complicated or fancy. I, I just work out first thing in the morning. I've been getting up at 5 to make 6 a.m. classes. I prioritize that and it sets me up for the day so much better. I think that I used to be really unhealthy and I used to not prioritize my health. So many people out there who are trying to achieve some goals, I think um, if you're not also taking care of yourself and you're just in turbo mode trying to take care of others and then kind of accomplish what you want, it's just not going to happen if you don't take care of yourself first. So I'm really grateful for my health. I'm so grateful for the ability to be active and grateful for my legs. I'm grateful for yoga. I'm so grateful that I'm, I'm able to get physical every morning, you know? And I think it's these simple things that we're like, oh, I don't want to do that. And But then when you flip it and you're like, I get to do these things and I get to take care of my body, it just flips everything around in, in the best way. So yeah, but I like this motivational stuff. I, I, cause I feel like, uh, when I put a video out there, it actually is for me more so like I'm, I'm trying to give myself a pep talk and I just think that you guys should hear it too. Right. So I like the, the self empowerment and the motiv motivation stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep on it. And I, I want to remind you that the only reason why I feel like I can speak to these things is because I've made so many mistakes. I've been through some shit lately and I'm, uh, I'm the first to admit now that I'm not perfect. And, um, I think that that's the only way that you can become a wiser person. Anybody in life who is, is saying that they've never made a mistake. They never colored outside the lines, went outside the boundaries. I don't know if I trust that person anymore to give me advice. I think you really just got to go through some stuff. But the, the key is the recovery. It's like how you learn from that stuff, right? So yeah. Well, thanks for joining me for week two. Uh, can I be a YouTuber? I don't know. Am I a YouTuber already? I'm a little, I'm a baby, baby YouTuber. Um, but it's been fun. And I think it's, it's about the fun. It's about the journey, guys. Yeah. It's definitely just about the, the journey. So I'm grateful. All right. 
I'll see you next week. Thank you.